Welcome to Bristol Caribbean Limited of the Bristol Group Incorporated, a leading helicopter transportation service provider to the global oil and gas industry. We are pleased to be able to fly you to your destination aboard the Augusta Westland 139. Your safety is paramount to us, and in accordance with the Trinidad and Tobago Civil Aviation Authority regulations, we present to you this safety and emergency briefing in preparation for your flight. Before boarding, all baggage must be declared and processed. This is a mandatory security procedure. No unchecked or personal baggage will be permitted in the main cabin area while on board the aircraft. You are required to wear hearing protection and a life jacket prior to boarding your flight. The life jacket is necessary once your flight is over water. To put on your life jacket, please follow these steps. Ensure that the buckle and zipper are in front. Buckle the waist strap. Zip up the front. Wrap leg loops around thighs and buckle the straps. Pull the waist straps snug. Pull the leg loops snug. To inflate your life jacket, pull sharply on the beaded inflation lanyard. If the life jacket does not inflate or is not firm, A. Loosen the protection cover and blow into the inflation tubes. B. Pull the tab on the water-activated battery to turn on the light. Your life jacket is equipped with the following. A. A whistle for attracting attention. B. A signal mirror. Remember, inflate your life jacket only after exiting the helicopter and remove footwear and any sharp objects before climbing into the life raft. A personal locator beacon, PLB, is also located on the life jacket. To use, remove from life jacket. Deploy antenna by sliding to left, then push upward. Activate system by pressing test and GPS simultaneously for one second. Position PLB with a clear view of the sky. The use of electronic devices is prohibited. Devices such as mobile phones, laptops and tablets must be switched off and stored in personal baggage prior to boarding as their use can affect aircraft equipment. Please pay attention to the following guidelines when boarding the AW139 aircraft. Prior to boarding, please ensure any loose items are secured as these may become a hazard. You may be asked to board the aircraft when the rotors are static or when the rotors are turning. Please follow the instructions of the Helideck Landing Officer HLO, or ground crew member. Do not approach the aircraft without the assistance of an HLO or ground crew member and only approach in single file from the designated areas as shown. This keeps you in continuous and full view of the flight crew. Never approach from the rear and do not walk under the tail boom. You may be directed to a specific seat. Once seated, connect your seatbelt by connecting the lap strap, then pull over the shoulder strap and connect them to the four-point harness. The straps may be lengthened or tightened as shown to a comfortable position. Seat belts must be fastened for the duration of the flights. To release, twist the buckle to the left or right, leaning forward as you do so to ensure that the shoulder strap is released. Obey all cabin signs and instructions from the crew. Please read the passenger safety information card. Pay attention to the emergency exits, equipment, and safety procedures. There is a fire extinguisher and first aid kit in the cabin. These are located as shown on the passenger briefing card. Do not tamper with the door handles or emergency exit pull tags. Do not lean on or rest your head on any of the windows as these are the emergency exits only. If seated next to an emergency exit, you may be required to assist the crew in the unlikely event of an emergency. Whilst in flight, do not engage or distract the crew operating the aircraft. 
This is considered dangerous and may be an offense. Communication with the crew should be absolutely urgent in nature. Should you notice anything unusual during the flight that may become a hazard, please bring it to the attention of the crew. You will be informed by the crew by use of the PA system should there be any change to the normal conduct of the flight. When the flight has landed, please wait for a HLO or ground crew member to escort you from the aircraft. Bristow Caribbean's flight crews are fully trained and capable of dealing with emergency situations. In the unlikely event of an emergency in flight, ensure your life jacket and seat belt are properly secured. Remove air protection and any loose or sharp articles from your pockets as well as any eyewear. If it becomes obvious or you are told to, then adopt the brace position as follows. Place feet together and slightly back. Grasp the forward edge of your seat with both hands at either side of your knees. Press your head and body into the seat. In a sudden emergency, there may be no time to prepare. In this situation, there are two things you must do. A. Tighten your lap belt. B. Brace. On landing, whether this is on land or on water, you must wait for the rotors to come to a complete stop before opening the emergency exits as shown. The cabin sliding doors are used for normal operations only. In the event of an emergency landing on water, the windows are the only emergency exits. To jettison the windows, pull the red tag from the clinch stud and completely remove the seal from around the windows, then push out the window at any corner. After an emergency landing, the first thing you must do is identify the direction of the emergency exit with one hand, orientation hand, and your seat belt buckle with the other. Stay in this position until the crew tells you otherwise or it becomes obvious that you must evacuate. Never open the cabin sliding doors on water as they may damage the aircraft flotation gear. Vacate the aircraft utilizing your orientation hand to direct you. Never inflate your life jacket inside the aircraft. Inflate your life jacket once you are clear of the aircraft. Attempt to congregate as a crew. The AW139 is equipped with two life rafts which are stowed externally, which are located in the sponson aft of each main cabin door. Life rafts are normally deployed by the crew from the cockpit. However, if either life raft fails to deploy, they can be launched manually by lifting the Velcro flap found at the forward end of each sponson and pulling the handle sharply upwards as shown. The life raft will deploy with some force outwards, away from the aircraft. So be sure that the area adjacent to the life raft storage is clear of anyone before deploying the life raft. Once deployed, board the life raft. Remember, this information is important for your safety when on or around the helicopter. If you have any questions, please ask before boarding the aircraft. We welcome your feedback, so send us any of your comments or concerns. From everyone on the Bristol Caribbean Limited team, we thank you for your attention. Please be alert, have a safe and pleasant flight. Bristol. Confidence in flight. Worldwide.